Eliseu could Why? not interpret his hunger. Why when this brother come with a stew? He say began hungry to extend that like he will die. This was a, a, a challenge, challenge of making Isel to value his birthright. Sometimes God will leave you with a so hunger so that you maintain your Christian level. See beyond that hunger. See beyond that lack. Just say, hey, what are you seeing? There's a test of lack. There's a test of hunger. This man said, I've got appetite. I mean, I don't care now. Whatever they put on the table. Even if it's fighting my Christian life, I don't care. Sometimes we love to satisfy our appetite. Even when it's contrary to God's will. We make sure that as long as it satisfies us. Just to satisfy the hunger of now. And we lose our birthright. Do you know the meaning of birthright was what? Was after come round. He said ate Our the Bible. That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." That was the last day. Then he said, "Come to the Bible." Bringing back your birthright. If you believe, shout hallelujah. 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 Have you ever read God spoke with Isaiah? Did 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 you ever read the appetites which are wrong. And you find that you want to eat. What you want to eat. After you eat, God says, I can't speak with this person. Today, I want to make an altar call. I want God to 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 forgive us. You know, the decisions we have taken, many of them are very wrong. The way we are today is because of the decision we have made. The decision we have taken today, some of you, you are in wrong marriages. You are in wrong marriages. And you cannot come out today. Look here, if you enter with pride, you won't come out because people will question you. You, you were saying you have found heaven. But now, what do you call heaven hell now? So it means you can go to heaven and go to hell sometimes. So you can be unpredictable. 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 So you can be
Think about you just found this man driving a car. Because he's driving a car, you want to marry a person who has got a car. And the day you marry him, you found the car belong to his brother. Because you cannot inter- you cannot see beyond. You are looking at the car. You can't see the owner of the car. Think about you you are see beautiful woman. And you don't know she's a satanist. Can you see beyond your situation? Can you see beyond your trouble? Can you see beyond your sickness? Can you see beyond your loneliness? You need God's interpretation. Let us all stand. We ask God for the wisdom. Let's ask God for the wisdom. Even today, when I see people, I fear them. Me, I fear people. Because the Bible says we must not trust people. Whatever, whatever you don't trust, fear it. in other words, give it a room. Allow God to interpret it for you. Allow God. If not, you will face problem you have never seen. Lift up your heads. Ask God by prayer. God give me wisdom to understand everything around me. Prayer. God, give me wisdom. I need your interpretation of my challenge, God. I need my interpretation of my trouble. I can't hear you. Pray louder. I need my interpretation. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. Listen to this. Wherever you are challenged, that's where you are powerful. Wherever you are challenged, that's where you are powerful. Listen, sometimes you don't need to ask God and say, why God? Why this? Why that? Enjoy yourself there and begin to thank God there. Because wherever you are seeing like that's where there is abundance. So, one of our problems today is I'm seeing like yeah, I'm challenged here. Sometimes you find that even the family will never understand it. Because listen, Sometimes God will allow certain people to leave you. Because people love things of the world. God will make sure that they leave you. So that they must not kill you because of those things. There will be many. Those things will be many. He wants to want give you today. You must thank God they have left you. You must thank God they have left you. Can you begin to thank God they have left you? And begin to forgive them. And begin to forgive them. And also forgive yourself. Prayer. I can't hear you. Forgive the people who hurt you. Forgive the people who fought you. Forgive the people who are against you. Forgive the people who are fighting against you. Don't even talk about them. In Jesus' name. One of the best prayers you can do from today 
is to forgive all who hurt you. If you are still talking about someone who hurt you, you are suspected. Keep watching Charis TV.